Amoda Lila, which I told you. I'm telling you, it seems three days. All the Brajvasis become so well. That in Gokul, so many disturbances are coming. So many demons coming, attacking Krishna, and they want to kill Krishna. So, it is better to leave Gokul and to go in a very pleasant forest where, where plenty of grasses for grouse, plenty of water. We were very good forest for playing Krishna and Baldev. We can have. Also, we should see that where there is no any disturbance or the path of demons. Good part means? No. Terror. 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 There is no fear of demons. We should. But fire should be so easy. There should be cuckoo bird. Peacocks, deers, and plenty of grasses for cows. Upananda told that Maharashandil Rishi is here. He knows everything, loop and corner of all the Vrindavan. And I also have some experience. So we can go to Vrindavan. <coughs> In Vrindavan, for Govardhan, he is so pleasant. So pleasant. Oh, very water flow are there. A river is there. So beautiful Manshi Ganga is there. And all the things for playing Krishna is there. Plenty of Plenty of ghats is there. So, and also in Vrindavan, there are so many banyan trees, people trees, so many forests of Kadamba, Tamal, so much deers there. Whatever Jamna is so lovely. So we should go there. At last they decided to go there. Anand Baba Ghoshana ki announced on drum by his any serpent that tomorrow in very morning I have a fowl, five, or all cows should be directed towards Vrindavan, crossing Jamuna river nearby. All, all wealth should be taken on bullock cords. The old person, father and mothers and others, they should be they should go on cards. Also the very little boys, they should go on car. And rest, they will follow cows. They should pick march from here. So Krishna and Baldev were sitting on a cart, very big cart, 
with Krishna and Baldev, with Mother Roni and Yashoda. And other children were with their mother. All persons were with Bula. First of all, all the cow herd, young persons, they were going with, they marched with cows. Cows were like endless ocean. And there were some streams of black cows and white, white cows. So beautiful the scenery. And miles over miles, all were marching in a very pleasant way. They made a pool of, um, they made a boat, so many boats, with benign trees, benign trees, keeping so many branches of trees on them, very tightly binded. And thousand, uh, thousand, lakhs and lakh gop and gopis. They crossed through the, these boats and bullock cord. They marched in the water. All the cows crossed by swimming. swimming. Little it is cops with their mother of very pleasant, quickly jumping and crossing. It was a very pleasant scenery. They took their morning breakfast on the bank of Jamna River and took some rest and then quickly marched towards Chatti Karagram. Now Chatti Karagram is situated on the north side of Vindal, north or west? No, north west. Side east, north west. West and north. West side of. Oh, thousand and lakhs of bullock carts were kept like half moon way. And after that, thrones were given that no one can pass in that village. And made their huts there under their bullock courts. Their houses were in the bullock and within under bullock courts. And that made there was made a goshala. Outside, out of the villages. When Krishna was coming from Jamna bank on the bullock cart, Krishna was asking, Oh mother, oh he is standing and always trembling. You know? Who? Who does? People tree, always trembling, his lips always dancing. Who is that person having so much beard, so long, long beard, black beards? Who? Mother told you he is not a person, he is a tree. His name is? Benyan. tree. Oh, I see. Oh. Two hot with two horns jumping very and very much and very beautiful light golden color. Who is that? Dear. So Krishna is learning the names and his Dasadamaya was eh, teaching that. Because boys have some tendency to know what is this, what is this, what is this, how happened, how happened. So, Jasodama is teaching and he is learning. 
Thus, they can do new Judaism. Krishna was, Krishna with Baldev Prabhu was very happy to be in this new village. Nearby Jamuna River, nearby Govardhan Hill, so many good ponds. There was a very big and very pleasant bun, Madhu bun, where Madhu honey was there so much. So many things were there. Krishna began to play there. Krishna began, he left Gokul at the age of three and a half. On Gokul. Now he began at the age of about five or so. And he was taking so much butter, ghee, rabadi. So in for one day, in his voyage, oh, he was so smart and so strong, Krishna and Bhante. They used to wrestle. They used to do bam and exercise. exercises, jumping here, playing with monkeys. If a monkey is on the tree and his tail is hanging, oh, Krishna Balde easily used to jump and and then monkeys jumping from one tree to them and they also jump from them. Sometimes they play a play of uh, frog. Frog. Leaf frog. Huh? Leaf frog. Leaf frog. Leaf frog. Uh, oh, leaping like frogs. Leaf frog. Hmm. Oh, leaping like this. Sometimes they used to dance like peacocks. Sometimes they used to to so many places. Now, Krishna told his father and mother, Mother, I am now so strong and I want to go to Grace Cows. Hearing this, Jasoda became so very. No, no, why you are so orph orphaned? A small boy. You can. Mother, I should go. Because this is our bunch come say. Tradition. Our tradition. We should go. And he was so jiddy. Jiddy. Obstinate. Obstinate. What is the meaning of obstinate? Oh, I must go, my mother. I must go. Then, anyhow, priest was called, and a special day was seen, and that was Gopashtim. Nand Baba, Gopananda, and all the superior gods, they decided that Krishna is so small, so there's with children. Nearby places, they should go to graze small cows. Not with cows. Krishna was happy. And thus, the Sudha decorated him in a spacious place. And brought some shoes and umbrella for Krishna. So, God was worshipped, Nishinga Deva was worshipped, Salagrama was worshipped in auspicious day. But Yasoda Ma was decorating, decorating Krishna so much, making, decorating Krishna. And he never wanted that he should go, so he was decorating, decorating. Mm -hmm. And the auspicious time was going on, passing. So priest wanted that. Uh, Krishna should go and we should have so many cows in donation. In donation. So 
so they make him quickly fit but jasoda ma uh, but jasoda wanted to give shoes for krishna and baldev and amrita krishna told mother cows are our superior and worship of it you should try to give one one umbrella and one one <laughs> four four shoes for our cows <laughs> and then we will uh, supply mane hum log unko gayu ko juta pehna kar and we will make them wear shoes make them wear shoes and umbrella and then we will take it. otherwise it will not take why because krishna wanted to touch all the earth everywhere with his feet so that it should be so much but as precious earth wanted to take krishna feet on her breast everywhere the breast of earth is taken like mountains so she always wanted that krishna should keep feet on her that is why krishna never to umbrella or any shoe then after giving donation cow so many krishna began to go towards forest with so many cows of oh, beautiful cows some small some bigger some bigger but all within one year some of them were only one month two months three months four months five months like this she cows and boy cows both were there but jasoda wanted to always keep embrace krishna so she was not living though krishna and baldev with his friends dam sidam subal mad mangal and all he came out of the village nandagaon nandagaon or bindavan chatti kar but jasoda was not in a mood to give up krishna so krishna is telling mother you should return you should return you should return. and she is returning and again krishna went goes one two steps forward to sadam again weeping like cows for their cows again at last krishna told that my bho of bho bho of my head you you should return then jasoda stop then nand baba and other folks were coming <coughs> any how krishna stopped them also there were so many gopis friends go they get hot work four three five they were also worshiping krishna with their crooked eyes and krishna was accepted it accept accepting krishna with the his eye they wanted to meet with krishna sitting on the side of what roof top of the balcony from doors from window windows some came out of their house oh standing on the court here court krishna beautiful decorated with pick up feather also good kastu mani banshi kastu riti lakam lalat patale vastak chale kaushuvam nakshatre moktikam here oh what jewels here 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 means so brightly glittering glittering oh these kuntals very good all with kissing six of this krishna's 
I'm so good. You know Alka in this country. Like this, Chandan Bindu. Chandan means not only Chandal, Kum Kum, Kasturi, Karpur, and all of very fast, fragrant, and also so making so much Shita. Cool. Like here, like Makari. Like this fish. Huh? Not fish. Like you know, a spider. Like this. Very beautiful looking Krishna. And Kasturi Tilakam. We are Kasturi Tilakam. So beautiful. So anyone. Then I wanted to return. Especially gopis. But Hare Krishna told them repeatedly that you should know to return. I am not going far away. I am very far, very near. I will return with God. So they became like faint, waving all, and they stood there. At last, Krishna entered in the forest. He was not seen. And then they were seeing what? Dust in this corner. And when it was also subsided, then anyhow, Nanda Baba, Jesu, and others, they, anyhow, they took return back to all of us. So this then Krishna went to the forest, very nearby. After some days, he was going and doing it. One day, with Baladev and others, he was in cups, that great. In the meantime, a demon in the shape of he came. He was somewhat very strong, strong and healthy. strong. And some bad fragrance was coming because they used to take opium, you know, flesh, meat, eggs, and bad things. Opium, you know. And all the bad things, especially made with meat and other things. Also wine, they so bad smell was coming from his nose and mouth. And it was very severe. So all the cops, when they, he used to come to them and wanted to mix with them, all the general cops, Taking their tongues hard as around. They used to jump, jump and to go towards Krishna and Baldev, fear. So Krishna was looking towards Baldev, what is happening? Today I am seeing that all the cups are fearing and this beautiful, but this very strong, this new cups I am seeing. But they told by his eyes, not by words. Yes, there is something we should be careful. <clears throat> and then he wanted to come gradually near by Krishna and to kill Krishna and then to Baldev. But at once Krishna caught was his left his hind legs. Hind legs and did like this. And he fell down on it, prayed. When Krishna followed and he was running to escape, this 
फर्स्ट वन कॉल खदीर वन खदेड़ा वन खदेड़ा वन यू नो वे आप जानते हैं वेरी वीक बकासु What means? And it gave her his lower big 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 cow big on the earth. Our next upper side, he took on this car. And he went up to solve Krishna. Krishna wanted to be careful, but he at once came. At first he was in trance, like yogis, standing on one leg, nearby any water pond, nearby Jamuna. And he went up to show Krishna, and then he quickly picked up Krishna. Then Krishna became like a hot iron ball. Ball. So could not keep in his. So he vomited. Again he wanted to attack. And Krishna quickly put his leg, one leg, on the his lower peak, and with hand, oh, he did that, and he was divided into two, and thus he was killed. These two demons were the embodiment of Kapatata. Hypocrisy, 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 and hypocrisy, hypocrisy, hypocrisy. You know what hypocrisy? Very well. Nowadays, there are so many bakasur. At the time of Krishna, only one bakasur was there. But nowadays, we cannot count so many bakasur. What is Bakasu? Embodiment of yeah, hypocrisy, duplicity, and all. Those who have taken initiation, and those who are chanting their name, putting tilak and kanti mala, and all. But they are very tricky. They hypo. They do hypo. They play hypocrisy and duplicity. Outer like friend and inner like satru, enemy. Outside like very sweet words and inner part having a knife. <laughs> So Krishna can recognize this, and he can destroy them. And we see that they are falling down very quickly, quickly. He may many many chanting Hari name and Hari katha, and he associate. He should be very far away from all these things. But he chanting, remembering, and doing Vaishnav, being Vaishnav, they are very much attached to wealth, reputation, 
and followers also and wives also, children also, so much attachment. They are all duplicitous. Those who play duplicity always criticizing Vaishnavas, offending Vaishnavas for very short, any very little. Little gain. Eh? Petty reason. Petty reason. They are more offenders. They are actually not Vaishnava. But to be attached, also this is not good. We should do Krishna Shamsha. Krishna Shamsha, you know? Making Krishna center and then thinking that my wife is beloved of Krishna. My husband is beloved of Krishna. My children are servant of Krishna. Thus, this is Krishna Shamsha. We should support and nourish this. And make all the servant of Krishna. And thus, we should associate all with Vaishnavas. And whatever we do, do for Krishna. And remnant should be given to all. This is Krishna Shamsha. It can be done. It is allowed. Like all the gopis were family. Also, so many devotees of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu associates were like householders. Also, Pandvas were householders. So if we are a householder, then not so much attached. But for Krishna, we can do all these things. Because we cannot be so much renounced order person, so we can gracefully do like this. And when we will come at the age of 50, 60, gradually we should give up all these things. Giving all this to our sons and sons' wife and sometimes we what? Ban Prasti and after that in Ban Prasti you can live with your why no harm? But after some time, you should give your wife also to your sons and be pakka renounced and do that. Like Bhakti Gnotha. Like Bhakti So, this family man, our family life is not bad. We can learn so many things in family life. This is also a perverted reflection of that word. Like a ladder, we can go gravely up by this. But where the family life is not like a ladder, not like a school, training. only for uh, training, then it is very bad. This would be a training a school like this. How to love Krishna? Oh, I should love like my son. I should love Krishna like my husband, more than husband. Like beloved, like friend. So, this is like a training school. And those who have tested all these things in previous past lives, there is an impression of all that. So they will not do uh, householder life. And those, they pretend to be brahmacharis, but actually not brahmachari. Oh, after some time they will fade out. Even they are taking sannyas, renounce order, and preaching in the whole world. But quickly from inside they are so much attract to ladies and girls and girls and wealth. So they were never qualified for this renounced order. But they 
Georgia State. They pretend to be. They pretend it actually. For wealth and reputation they did. But Guru should not give some nyash to them. So there are so many things. These are all those who are not following all these things, they are Bakasu. So we should try to be careful from Bakasu. You cannot kill Bakasu yourself. Who will kill? Oh Krishna. He can kill. Baldev can kill. So one day, the worker is grazing cows and they went to Madhuka, uh, Talman. You know Talman? All the boys were very thirsty and very hungry. What became? Go in the water. Come on, tell me where. Then, Kars, I don't know the story so well. Oh, huh? I don't know the story so well. I have told so many times, and if you not remember, I will remember you by twisting your ears. Yes. Very quickly you will remember. Oh, you can't tell. Oh, you can't tell. Oh, you but before his Bhatsasura, Adasura, Bhakasura. Before his Bhatsasura, Adasura. After that, no. Then you can tell Bhakasura about Adasura. Very good. Chakshur. So shortly after Krishna had killed Bhakasura, he and the cowherd boys, um, they went, again, they were taking care of, um, they were taking care of the cows. They were still under the age of five years. And Putana and Bakasura, um, they had a younger brother. They had a younger brother. Putana, one sister and two brothers. Bakasura and Naghasura. One of them, Bakasura was killed, now Agasura. And he became so So Agasura was um, very angry that his older brother's sister had been killed. And again, being instigated by Kamsa. And he promised Kams. I said, I will take revenge and I'll kill shortly Kams. So then he again is um, under the influence of Yoga Maya. He was able to enter into Vrindavan. And he came in the form of a serpent. But not just an ordinary serpent, he also was a great mystic yogi. Python? Python. 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 A python, a particular type of snake, a python. And he expanded his body <coughs> eight miles long, it's explained. And he went on the, on the path, and then with this expanded body, he opened his mouth with his lower jaw on the ground. And just as Bhakasura had previously opened his mouth, and the beak was right to the sky. So similarly, Agasura opened his mouth in such a way that his upper jaw was um, up in the clouds, practically was touching the sky. So the cowherd boys, they were playing. And then from, as he opened his uh, mouth, then from within, a very foul smell was um, emanating from within his intestines, um, a very fishy smell. To explain. All the cowherd boys began to tell, oh, what is this? So then the cowherd boys, they seen this um, big structure. Then looking at each other, they're saying, oh, 
what is this? And they thought, um, this is at, like a mountain. At first they thought, oh, this looks like a very, very big mountain, which is going right up to the sky. Then on close examination, then they saw that, no, this is not a mountain, but this is a huge snake. And Hey, they saw that this is a cave. Step up that mountain. Mouth was like a cave. The entrance to the cave. Excuse me? The mountain was like a cave. He's so eager. No, no. I was so eager. So that, then they thought it was um, a cave, but then upon closer, um, the entrance looking like a cave, then closer examination, then they saw that um, actually this was a big snake. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were saying that a very red carpet was. <laughs> so, <laughs> so then they saw that. Um, the entrance oh, that there's this. We should go whether it's serpent or mountain cave, no harm. Oh, Krishna is there. He's coming behind. Oh, he must save us. That should tell anything. You? You are very eager. At once, at once, come. I can do a bit more. No. So okay, that time okay. So then um they they quick they proceeded very confidently um walking into the mouth of Adasura because they were they had the confidence that Krishna was with them and that whatever would happen that Krishna would protect them. And what Krishna was doing? Krishna was scratching his head. Huh? He was wondering, what is going on here? <laughs> he was in the last row. Yes, he was behind, but he did not go in with them. He stayed outside, and he was looking at this. Um, Why he was, are going? I cannot shut them. And that in turn, and he was <laughs> what to do? Then, then, they will. So, Agasura, even though all the cowherd boys had walked in, actually it's explained that Krishna, he was um, looking in amazement also, that how Maya, the material energy, Maha Maya, could manifest such a, a wonderful thing as this big snake. So the cowherd boys, they walked in, and, but Agasura was not satisfied because actually he wanted Krishna. So then finally, Krishna also, then he followed the cowherd boys and then he walked into the mouth of the, the big serpent. Then the serpent, being satisfied that Krishna was within, then he closed his jaws and within, within the um, mouth of the um, serpent, then the cowherd boys, actually they fainted. All the cops also then. All the, all the young calves, which um, the cowherd boys had been taken, taken care of, they also went into the mouth of Agasura, and they all fainted, and then... Um, hmm? <laughs> so then, um, Agasura, having Krishna and the cowherd boys, cows within his mouth, um, then he wanted to devour all of them. But then Krishna, he became um, very, very hot. Where? Within his jaw. No. No. Within his throat. That's what I meant, within the throat. <laughs> So, so Agasur could not breathe, he was choking. And then what he was doing? He was doing chat for chat for So, so then Agasur was, was fighting, becoming restless, moving his head left and right, trying to get rid of this. He wanted to vomit. 
vomit out, just as Bakasura previously had vomited. But this time Krishna would not allow. And Krishna just got hotter and hotter and hotter. And the heat increased so much within the head of Agasura. His head was about to burst. Eyes came. And then his eyes, like big rasgulas, they went... <laughs> <laughs> they busted out. <laughs> so, and began to roll down. And then Agasura, the big serpent, just started to roll, um, squiggling all over the place. And then the heat, and then finally, um, Krishna, the, um, then, then the light air of Agasura um, just could not take the intense pain and heat and just bust it out through a um, hole in this, in, in this um, skull. So then um, his mouth opened because... No, no. not open. Huh? Uh, yeah, his atma, I said, his, like, his atma came out and was hovering, hovering in the sky. Meanwhile, all the demigods, they were up, they were looking at the whole scene, wondering what was going on. Because when Krishna had gone in, they had thought, oh, alas, Krishna will be killed. Oh, calamity, what tragedy. So they were watching this whole scene. And then they saw this atma just floating up in the air and they are wondering, what's going to happen next? And Krishna when came out. Then Krishna, the, Krishna, he came out. No, he opened the mouth. Oh, he, Krishna opened the mouth of Agasura. And all off. He revived yeah. the cowherd boys and the cows. And then they walked out. Um, when came, Krishna came. And then when Krishna came, at once that the Atma that was hovering in the sky then went and merged into the body of Krishna. No, he did his feet. His, his feet. It's all not, this is not in Krishna who called this. <laughs> so, um, so then it's explained that how fortunate this Agasura was, that though a demon, um, but still um, the, he achieved Bhagavad, the Atma merged into his into the, his foot. So anyway, I won't say that. <laughs> so then, um, what happened next? Can the you universe. tell after this something? You know some stutis of Brahman? Hmm. My apologies. Went to Kalpa to do this job. You said try to remember something more. Oh. So, when Krishna, he came out from the mouth of Agasur, and Agasur had been uh, relieved of all of his, someone will say, Krishna has killed him. No, Krishna has destroyed all his false ego, or his sinful body, and liberated that Atma. So seeing this, all the demigods, they became overjoyed. They began to beat drums, and dance, and chant, and shower flowers on Krishna. So at that time, Brahmaji, the uh, creator of this universe, the highest of all the demigods, he was moving in the sky there on his swan carrier. And he was thinking, oh, what, what's going on? What is all this celebration about? And he came and he saw the Atma of Agasur enter into the lotus feet of Krishna. At that time, he was very, ast what became? He was very astonished. What became? Uh, of Agasura Atma, what became? Yes, sir. Tell all these things. Oh, the yes, Then yes, sir, go and tell. But he knows all the prayers. So he was waiting for that. But he should know the essence and Siddhant, or oh, only it can be learned in association of high class of Krishna, a real life soul, otherwise not. We can remember the slokes and so many things, but those some things are to be associate, to associate and to hear. Right? So, Sola Bhagasura get liberation 
What kind of sajidja or not sajidja? So what? There is five kinds of mukti. Sarupa, Saloka, Sasti, Samipa and Sajidja. Among these five, devotee don't like Sajidja liberation. What is the Sajidja? Sajidja means imagine Brahma. It is called Sajidja. What it, happens there? there? Just like during operation theatre, uh, the patient has no sense, he don't know what is going on. Similarly, in Sajidja Mukti, Soul could not understand that he is there or not, what is going on is just like a like stone. There is no realization of his soul. And there is no action in his soul. So he gave Sarupa Mukti. Seeing this, what is Sarupa Mukti? Sarupa means same form like Bhagavan, but not same like from Bhagavan, associates of Bhagavan, same form of like his associate. A say like uh, associates of Narayan. Like Narayan. 400. 400. But not uh, like Krishna, some similarity will be there. Yes. And what is Samipya? Samipya means uh, near anyone to... who is liberated and he receives uh, Samipya. Samipya. He goes very nearer to Krishna in a very nearer lok or in a lok like by good. And there is also a Sasti. Sasti means like same opulence. Like opulence, like Krishna, but not same. Like same, but not same. Not so much. Very little. Why Vaishnav don't take these four? Shaiji um, Mukti, they never take. The enemies of Krishna are Ramachandra. Killed by them. Killed by Bhagavan, they get that kind of liberation. And that kind of liberation. What? Shaiji so, and also the uh, devotees like in first case of Sukadeva Goswami, Sukadeva Goswami, Sukadeva Goswami, they also have some attraction. Oh. Oh. This is also so high class, but Vaishnav don't hate with them. Diyamanam upinagrinanti vinamatsivanam jana. Also they don't want Samipya, Sarupya. Sarupya, Sarupya. So Krishna anyhow mercifully gave him Sarupya Mukti. Like Narayan, any shape, nearer to any lord. But Vaishnav don't. Seeing this, oh, how rare is this Mukti? Even so, Brahmavadi, they don't have this. <coughs> he has easily killed by Krishna and he has received. So he was thinking about this. Then he knew that, oh, his supreme personality of God. He is not demigod or anything. I want to see him some more past times. Then Brahma don't somebody, they say that Brahma want to test, but no. Brahma being our Purvacharya, he could not keep this conception in his mind that I shall test him. No. He want to see more past times by his own effort. Why? Because Jogmaya attracts Brahma. Because in Braj, Krishna used to go for during milking time, then all cows they are think they used to think, oh, if Krishna will be our cow, then I shall give her milk. We will give milk. We will give milk. And he will be my son. And he will be our cow. And all Sakis so Mother Jasoda, they are thinking, oh, if Krishna will be our son, it will be very good fortune for us. Because on the way back from cow grazing, all Jasoda Sokis they used to take Krishna in their lap one after another. After that, Mother Jasoda taking Krishna away to his own residence. So they are thinking, oh, we can, he used to take Krishna only for a moment. But Mother Jasoda is so fortunate, he used to sleep with Krishna, he nourished Krishna always. 
So if Krishna will be our son, then we can nourish Krishna like Jasoda. Then it will be our very good fortune. Now all Pradigopis, who is teenage, they are thinking, yeah, oh, Krishna will be our husband. Then Krishna is so, so beautiful, sweet, beautiful, so sweet, so attractive, so strong. So strong. If so Krishna, we want that Krishna should be our husband. So Krishna knew all. Teenage age. No peace. Teenage age. 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 Teenage very beautiful husbands. Though they are not uh, mature, even they. So that was. So Krishna can accomplish so many things with so, so many uh, accomplish so many tasks with his own action. So Krishna ordered Jogmaya. Then Jogmaya? No, not ordered, but he wished. He wished and Jogmaya at once came and wanted to wanted fulfill Krishna's desires. So Brahma came and he. So Jog Maya inspired in Brahma. Brahma. Then Jog Maya inspired in Brahma. Then Brahma stole his all cups. At first, Krishna was taking their their meal under one tree, and cups are grazing nearby. Then Brahma stolen away the old calves and hide it near Tapovan on the bank of Jamuna. All Sokas they are thinking, where is our calves? They could not find. Then Krishna told, wait a little bit, I shall find out all of them. If not, I shall play on flute, then all calves will come. So first thing you know, then you can see we are going. So they also went away and leaving Krishna, they went for searching calves. Then Brahma, no, no, no. they were sitting there. Krishna told them, you cannot search. Uh, quickly, I will search. So Krishna told them that you should take, here take meals. And I am just coming very soon. Krishna asked and them, sit here. He went. And when Krishna went for searching, then Brahma came and quickly take, quickly take all cowherd boys and hide them in the same place. Then Krishna came. I am thinking, Searching. What, what happened? No calves, no cowherd boys. When I shall go back, how I shall reply? At that day, it was birth star of birth constellation of Baladev Prabhu. He was not present at that day. He was thinking, all mothers will ask me, Oh Kana, you came alone. Where is my son? How I shall reply then? Due to Naralila, he became so surprised and his body, his face became dry. He is in hand, there is some foodstuff of rice and some people. He forget to eat it. He is searching here and there. Then, with the help of Jogmaya, he knew this fact that Brahma stolen away everything from here. So, Krishna. Then Brahma, keeping them in cave, then in the bank of Jamuna, went to Brahmalo. When he entered to Brahmalo, Krishna became Brahma by his own, own, own form and ordered his servant, that somebody who wants to cheat me, he is coming. Cheat you all. He wants to cheat you all. He is coming like my own form for a day. Be careful. Don't be cheated by that. Don't let him come here. Imposter. Imposter. Don't let him come here. When Brahma is to, when Brahma is entering, because he is entering his own residence, no need to ask anyone. He is watching, watch, watch mentor, don't enter. Who said, are you? Who are you? Brahma told, are you mad? No, no, we are not mad. You are mad. <laughs> if you are mad, I, we shall break your leg. <laughs> Brahma, what is going to happen? 
Any other day, they never insult me. They're insulting me, or they want to beat me. And Brahma became surprised. He came back and meditated. Oh, he saw he's the Krishna himself. Then he became sorry and come back again to Braj. He returned to Braj. He returned to Braj. And he saw Krishna is grazing cows, grazing cows with his cowherd's voice. It's all covered. We are all covered boys. Here and there playing. Here and there playing. There is nothing that have nothing happened. Then <coughs> rub his eyes and saw all calves, all covered boys become four headed handed. Why? Because personal deity of Brahma is Garbhada Sai Vishnu four handed. So Krishna wants to show Brahma that what to say about me. The Krishna is supreme personality Godhead, but his calves, his covered boys, stick, their uh, claws, not less than Garuda Sai Vishnu, they are all are transcendental. Then Brahma is doing pranam again and again, and now he is praying to Krishna. Now again, when again, he, saw, he saw that Krishna, Krishna is alone, alone, and searching his calves and cowboy, covered boys. And very sad. Then he began to pray. And oh, you are supreme personality of God. I could not understand you. And then he began to began to pray. What? No, no mithate yabra bhakuse tadidam varaya gunya vatan sapari picha lasan mukhaya vanna sraje kavala vetra visana venu laksma sri mridupade pasupanga jaya our Purvacharya Brahma is telling Pasupanga Jaya. Brahma is telling that he is son of Nanda Baba. How we can say that he is son of Nanda Baba with the, by this law? Pasupanga Jaya. Pasupa. Pasupa means who take care of cows is Pasupa. And who took birth from him, who take birth from him is Pasupanga Jaya. That means Pasupa is Nanda Baba. Who came from Nanda Baba is Krishna. No midhati of Rabba Kuse. Rabba Shkali and go down in his lotus feet. Who is this? No midhati of Rabba Kuse. His body like new cloud. Tolidam Baraya. Just like in cloud there is lightning. His pitamba just like lightning in his, on his body. There is in cloud, in cloud lightning. Krishna's body like New cloud and his pitamba like lightning. Pitamba means? Pitamba means a front cloud. Oh, this. Chadar. It like thunderbolt. Like thunderbolt. Gunya Patansa Paripit Chalasan Mukhaya. What is his decoration? What is his ornament? Gunya Patansa. One kind of fruit. Oh, Gunya is. Another thing, Avatans is another thing, not both are same. Gunja here, Avatans means ear. Ear, what thing? Ear, earring. Earring, so beautiful, of flowers. Paripicha lasan mukhaya, and on head, that is paripicha means peacock feather. Vanna saje kavalavetra visana venu is decorated. His whole body top to bottom with worldly flowers who came from, who produced in jungle automatically. Kavalavitra Visana Venu, innocent foodstuff and stick for cow grazing and fruit, kefir, lakshman. Kefir means? Kefir man, what is the meaning of? He kept his fruit here. Try to Kavalavatra Visa, Lakshma Sri Mridupade Pasupanga Jaya. Pasupanga Jaya. What is Lakshma Sri? Lakshma Sri means and so many good symbol on his feet. Where? So, auspicious mark under his soul. And he. What was there? Like Dhaja, Vajra, Ankus, Pataka. Chariot, colors, peace, so many things. So he is moving here and there. All marks is, are coming on 
Middle Middle means slowly, slowly is moving slowly and slowly like elephant boy. Very beautiful walk. Became careless, he's walking freely and very slowly and slowly. Smiling. Smilingly. So I know it. No so me. I go down near lotus feet. Any slope, you know? Narnasta. <coughs> oh, I can't <laughs> Gyanapriyashmat Parshan. Then, Mukhasa Chitra. Brahmaji, he climbed down from his one carrier and fell again and again, offering his pranam to Krishna and in a faltering voice, with his hair standing on end and tears flowing from his eight eyes, he began to offer so many prayers, such as this beautiful prayer. Uh, what he described saw, like, Krishna, like no, I mean, the upper um, part. Yeah, he was sure. taking something. He saw Krishna, how he was standing like an ordinary boy holding some uh, prasad oh, remnants in his left hand, some fruit, some yogurt, some rice, and some, and it is dripping through his fingers, right? dripping through his fingers. So, Ramaji began to offer prayer. Gyane prayas samudapasana manta eva. Jivanti san mukaritam bhavadiya vartam Stana istita asutikatam tanovan manove Ye praya so dita didopya sita istulokyam Brahmaji is saying Jnane prayasam That the endeavor for knowledge Udapasya It should be given up Namanta eva And rather one should just do pranam to Krishna And Jivanti san mukaritam bhavadiya vartam. Gyane prayasam utapasya. Gyan means, Gyane prayasam means the endeavor to acquire knowledge about Krishna, about the absolute truth, and also the knowledge of Krishna's opulence. That the knowledge of Krishna's opulence, it is a, an obstacle, a stumbling block for those who want to enter into the sweetness of Vrindavan. Uh, Krishna has said, Aishwarya Gyaneti Sabha Jagat Nishrita, Aishwarya Shitila Prema Nahi Prita. In this whole universe, everyone has the Aishwarya Gyan. They know me as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. But love which is made feeble by this Aishwarya Gyan is not satisfying to me. Can we explain here Nirvishesh Gyan? Nirvishesh Gyan, yes. And uh, also the Brahma Jiva Aikya Gyan, the knowledge of Nirvishesh Gyan, of Brahma, thinking that the absolute truth is formless, impersonal, with no qualities, with no pastimes, no abode, no associates, no activities. This Gyan, it, it not should be means. rejected. Here, not this name. It means They are apparently offensive in Krishna, not to speak. So here, it is not told. Only Gyan Mishapakti here, thinking that Krishna is Supreme Personality of God. He is Narayan, like this. This is also to be stopped. So, if, well then one may say, if we give up this knowledge of the opulence of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, then how will we understand anything? So, Brahmaji is giving the actual suggestion. What is that? Jivanti san mukaritam bhaviriya vartam that one should hear the sweet pastimes of Krishna from oh, where hear. san mukaritam oh, and understand oh sada puja you should be one push <laughs> <laughs> pointed otherwise if you are short short here there over you can so we we will cut your five uh, five oh. and you will give only two. <laughs> so he said, what what will we do? How will we understand anything? Jivanti san mukaritam bhavadi yavartam. One should hear the descriptions of Krishna's sweet pastimes. Where? 
San Mukharitam, that means not from any tape, not from any book, not from any video or on any folio or internet or database. No. Jivanti San Mukharitam. You have to hear these things from the mouth, from the lips of Sat, the Death pure devotee. Death will not do. Or anything will not do. So then he said, this has different meanings. One meaning is, stay where you are. There is no need to make any external arrangements or change anything. If you are brahmachari, then remain brahmachari. If you are in uh, Grihastha Ashram, then stay in Grihastha Ashram. If you are Vanaprastha Sanyas, then stay in that Ashram. No need to make any external arrangements. But subject yourself to the flow of nectar coming out from the mouth of any pure Vaishnava. Mm -hmm. The second meaning? And the second meaning, Stayane Stita, means one meaning is stay where you are, meaning stay in your Ashram. And the other meaning is that place where there is a sadhu speaking the sweet pastimes of Krishna, sweet Harikatamrita, then stay in that place and never leave that place. Always hear constantly the Harikata from the lips of a pure Vaishnava. Then? What doing? What doing? What doing? What doing? That? <coughs> doing what there? Stane stita suti gatan tano van mano beer. And not only hearing for enjoyment, but actually tanum van manobia, completely surrendering one's body, mind, and words to that sadhu. Then the Harikata will no. enter into the heart. Again, again. Doing pranam to that place. Doing pranam to who is telling Harikatha. Doing pranam to Srimad Bhagavatam, what he is reading. And doing pranam to who has managed. Arrange. Arrange everything. Those who have managed, oh, a Vaishnava should come and tell Bhagavan. And he has invited all Vaishnavas. They have made an arrangement of prasadam. Anyone is making arrangement of Max and Sakranji. One, one is, one, anyone is Brahmin. So all, doing pranam to all, by whole body. And mind, oh, how I am lucky that I am hearing Harikatha. To do pranam also by heart and by mind also. And giving respect to all, especially those who is speaking Harikatha. Like whom? Like Valdev Prabhu. Like Guru, like Parikshit Maharaj had so much faith, so much honor, and so much trust in um, Subhade Goswami. So likewise. So if is anyone going like this, Thaan is Thita, Tanvang, Manobhi, Prayashu, Ajito Abhi, Jita, who? So then, the question may come in the mind, if I give up the proper knowledge and all of these things, how will I control my mind? How will it be? So one should not fear about this. Brahmaji is saying, Ye that the many sages and yogis, they endeavor so hard to control their mind and senses. But for one who hears the sweet Harikata, what to speak? To control Krishna. So oh. mind is very... It is significant. They don't want to control mind. They want to control Krishna. The Krishna is never controlled by anyone. But to whom? Those who are sharing Harikatha like this. Krishna is very soon is controlled. And gradually, Shadhan Bhakti, Bhava Bhakti and Prima Bhakti comes. And thus his life becomes success. Then what? What? So, the, simply by hearing the Harikata, what to speak of controlling my very easily, Krishna don't, becomes under control. Don't have so much faith on reading. Everything is locked. Ja, Pagod Pada, 
here, oh, then here we can, like daily class. Then we go. Nothing to go anywhere else. Oh, very good. राधे जय जय माधव देव जय राम